Caleb Williams is going to be the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. We all can agree that if the season were to end today, the favorite to win the Heisman Trophy, becoming only the second player since Archie Griffin to be a two-time winner, would easily win the showdown in the race for first place as the number one pick come April of 2024. Now, naturally, the team that everyone is focusing in on is the Chicago Bears. And they should because the Bears right now are a dumpster fire. And they've been a dumpster fire and the laughing stock of the league for years now. Years. It's not just, oh, well, yeah, we have a quarterback and he ends up stinking and we don't get, they don't care about who they hire as a head coach. They don't fundamentally be sound when it comes to the search for a GM. They spend money like no one's business and they usually overpay for talent that isn't actually worth the asking price. They don't know how to develop a quarterback and they find a way to continuously self implode, even though we get high expectations every single year. That's Chicago to a T. Plain and simple. But could that be a reason why Caleb Williams either pulls an Eli Manning or goes back to college? If he goes back to college, there's a reason for it. Number one, he probably wants to win a national title. And I'm not saying that USC, now joining the Big Ten, can win a title in year one. But you also realize that with the expansion of the Big Ten comes the expansion of the college football playoff. We'll go from four teams to 12 teams. So you don't have to win the conference to win the big showdown. You can easily find the right avenue and pathway through the postseason to make it to the natty. That can happen. The other reason would be NIL plays a factor. With NIL nowadays, it's going to allow players who maybe aren't NFL ready, but definitely aren't happy with their situation in college to come back they might be willing to sit out a year on a four- or five-year contract that they will get in the NFL to better their skills, hone in on their craft, still make money, profit off of their name and their dominance, and then eventually go pro. That's going to happen for a lot of players. There may not be an NIL deal sustainable for a Caleb Williams to come back to Pasadena, California. I think it's foolish to have this conversation. I really do. But let's just say he were. Is it because the Bears are picking number one? I hate to break this to you. Even if the Bears are picking number one, I highly doubt that Caleb Williams goes back. Because part of the reason that you go pro is to be the answer to a problem. And there's reason for optimism and there's reason to believe that right now, Williams can be that guy. And certainly, even though the Bears have been actually a quarterback graveyard, they legitimately are. Like, we talk about and we make jokes all the time. Oh, Cleveland is the place where quarterbacks go to die. Chicago is where the place that quarterbacks are basically aborted out of life in general. They're just terrible. It doesn't work. It doesn't. They're the only franchise in the NFL to not have a 4,000-yard passer. They're the only franchise in the NFL to still think that Sid Luckman is their best option. The NFL hadn't even been merged yet. That's how long it's been since they've had a starting quarterback. But the way that I view this is, Caleb Williams is the answer. Caleb Williams can be the guy. For maybe Chicago or another franchise, maybe it's Washington, maybe it's Atlanta, Maybe it's someone else who trades up to number one. He's that guy. They built a statue. I'm the sole proprietor. I'm the savior that was promised. I am the dude who was always meant to be your reason for optimism. And I think that's a thought that a lot of players go through. Now, it's a risk. It absolutely is because you never know what the NFL entails. I mean, Andrew Luck was supposed to be the most perfect prospect and the uh, the incompetence of Ryan Grigson, Jim Ursay. And kind of Chuck Pagano, I give him a little bit of a pass because Pagano was just kind of handcuffed to the other two. The incompetence of that franchise in Indianapolis eventually cost him a stellar career and he retired early. And the Bears, because they're run by the McCaskey family, we know that they just don't care about football. And until the McCaskies actually sell the team, which who knows that that will ever happen, it's hard to buy stock in that Chicago actually cares enough about their quarterback. But we've also seen teams before, primarily Cincinnati being the one. Once you get that guy and you know that he's the guy, you actually start caring. 
So Cincinnati forever was a frugal franchise. Paul Brown really didn't like spending money. They didn't care about building around their superstars. Take them or leave them. Take a contract. And every year, you just watch this team falter because of their feeble spending limits. Well, then you go get Joe Burrow. Burrow shows you that he is the future. And what happens? You start listening to the quarterback. You start spending money in free agency. You start hitting on your draft picks. And yes, Cincinnati this year is one in three, but let's not get things twisted. They've been to the AFC championship game back-to-back seasons, and they're two years removed from a Super Bowl. Why? Because they started realizing we have to build around this quarterback if we don't want to lose him and start fresh. So maybe that's the push that you need from Chicago if Caleb Williams comes out swinging to be the guy. The other reason why I just don't think Caleb Williams would ever pass up on going to the NFL this year is simply because of what the money is going to bring. NIL offers you some bit of cash. I'm not saying that you can't live off of that money. NFL number one overall pick, $25 million is hard to pass up, even if it's for a franchise like Chicago, even if it's for a franchise that has been the dumpster fire for quarterbacks for quite some time. $25 million is a hard deal. And yes, it is a bit of a concern, especially when you look at right now, what happened to Mitchell Trubisky, what's going on with Justin Fields. But if you end up hitting, dude, dude, they're just basically saying, build the statue now. You're going to be able to never have to pay for a thing in the city ever again. And Caleb Williams has something that I think can allow him to be that guy. And the other thing is, is that if you know that he is the number one pick, and you're picking at number two or number three because Carolina right now is 0-4. They're banking on Bryce Young to be their savior in Charlotte. If you can have his opinion, hey, do you want a Marvin Harrison Jr.? Or do you want us to focalize on the defense? Do you want us to go after a Jared Verse from Florida State or another superstar? Do you want an offensive tackle? That might also help you build some trust with the organization. So, once again, I understand why maybe you would not want to go to Chicago, but at the same time, money, the ambiance, and of course the upside of being the number one overall quarterback and the savior and the solution to a franchise, very hard to pass up on today, say. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Don't hit the X button yet. Make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with all of our daily content found on Just Saying It and anything else that we post on this channel. Bye.